Welcome to this uh, session. Today we are going to discuss uh, functions. So yesterday we defined the concept of a function and what is the relationship between, what is the differences between a function and a relation. Now we are going to take up some problems and we are going to verify whether it is a function or not. So here, first one, first example, set A is given as 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is given as this and we have to verify whether this is a function or not. So here it is given. So this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and it is uh, set A and uh, set B is, it is uh, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, B is given and uh, mapping the function, the relation is given like this, 1 to A and next to 2 to A and next to 3 to D. Now we have to verify whether it is a function or not, whether it is a function or not. So here, uh, one is having an image A, two is having an image A, but uh, four does not have any image. So f of four does not define. So this is not a function. So this is not a function. So four image, f of four is not defined. So f does not assign to each and every value of set A. So it is simply a relation. It is not a function. It is not a function. Let us uh, go for the second one. Another example. So 1 to A, 2 to A and 2 to B. See here, 1 to A and uh, so it is given as 1 to A and next to 2 to A and the next another one is 2 to B, 2 to B. Here it is, 2 is mapped to A, 2 is mapped to B. So, 2 is related to A as well as 2 is related to B. That means, of course, 3 to D will be there and 4 to C will be there, 4 to C will be there. So, here F of 2 is A as well as B, A as well as B. It does not a unique value, it does not a unique value. So we can say that uh, it is not a function. This is not a function. Second one is also not function. And now some more uh, examples are given like this. So here uh, A is defined as uh, A, B, C, D and B is defined as 1, 2, 3 and we have to verify whether it is a function or not. So here A is mapped to, so it is given as uh, A is uh, a, B, C, D. So it is uh, given as A, B, C, D and B as given as 1, 2, 3 and now A to 1, then B to 2, B to 2 and C to 3, C to 3 and D to 2, D to 2. So we have to verify whether it is a function or not, whether it is a function or not. So A is mapped to 1, only one element. B is a 2 and C is a 3 and of course D is also mapped to 2. So we can say that the first one is a function. First one is a function. And the second one, see here, F of A value is a 2 will be there. F of A is equals to 1 will be there. So A is mapped to more than one element. So it is not a function. It is a only a relation. And now, see here it is A is mapped, B is mapped and C is mapped but there is no image for D, there is no image for D. So it is also not a function. It is also not a function. And uh, the next one is A is mapped to 2, B is mapped to 2, C is mapped to 2, D is mapped to 2. So every element of A has, is having an image, is having an image. So it is known as a function. It is known as a function. So like this, uh, we can define we can find out whether it is a function or not. So now let us consider A is a uh, A is a positive integer set and B is a positive integer set and function is defined as like this. 
f of x is equal to x plus 2. Now we have to verify whether it is a function or not. Suppose here f of 1 is, uh, if I am going to assign the values in a, a is nothing but z plus is a positive integer and b is also a positive integer set z plus 2. So while we have to consider all f of x is nothing but x plus 2, f of x is x plus 2. So we have to consider only the positive values from this set. So subsequently if you are going to add, then we are going to get the positive values. So we can say that each and every element of a, each and every element of a positive one, which is uh, uh, having an image, which is having an image. So we can say that this is a function. This is a function. Suppose if I am going to consider, if I am going to consider instead of taking x plus uh, 2, if I am going to consider x minus 2, if I am taking x minus 2, then suppose if I am taking x belongs to a or 1 belongs to the a, a is nothing but z plus, 1 belongs to a which is equal to z plus, then what about f of 1, f of 1 is equal to 1 minus 2, so it is minus 1. So minus 1 is not a member here, minus 1 is not a member here. Suppose in this case, if I am taking the function as x minus 2, the function f of x is equal to x minus 2, then I can say that it is not, it is not a function, it is not a function. So if I am considering here, plus will be there, so for every uh, x, there is x plus 2 will be, so which is also a member, which is also a member. If I am taking x minus 2, then the image will not be there. So of course, the remaining things, f of 2 also does not have any image. And 3 onwards, there are images will be there. f of 3 is equal to 1, f of 4 is equal to 2, like that it will be there. But there is no image for these two elements. So subsequently, we can say that it is not a function whenever if you are going to define as f of x is equal to x minus 2 from a, a is equals to b is equals to z plus. So here, anyhow, it is a positive will be there. So it is a, a function. Now, what are the different uh, types of functions will be? So there are uh, so many functions. One will be a one to one function, one to one function. A function f is said to be one to one or injective or injective. Then for each and uh, for different elements, different elements of A will have different images or, or different elements will have different elements will have different images or any images, their images are same, then subsequently the elements are also same. The elements are also same. So in such a case, we can say that the function is 1, 1. The function is a 1, 1. So, different elements will have different images. Different images. Such function is known as a 1, 1. 1 to 1 function. Next, identity function. Identity function. So, here 1, 1. Suppose if I am just taking, let us consider. So, there are uh, examples also there. Uh, we are going to discuss at that time. Now, identity function. So, here for every A belongs to A. For every A belongs to A f of a is equal to a, f of a is equal to a. Suppose I am just taking a is equal to 1, 2, 3 and b is also 1, 2, 3. Let us go, I am just taking. So f of 1 is equal to 1, f of 2 is equal to 2, f of 3 is equal to 3. Then we can say that this is an identity function. This is a, an identity function. Okay, so for every a belongs to a, f of a is equal to a f of a is equal to a, then it is known as a identity function or identity mapping. Okay, so next to constant uh, function, a function f is defined from a to b is said to be constant if f of a is equal to c, f of a is equal to c, c is any fixed number, c is any fixed element and suppose if I am going to consider, if I am going to consider, so if it is going to be, let us say, I am going to take it as, so whatever the value will be there, whatever the value will be there, if it is mapped to only one fixed element, then that is known as a constant function. 
that is known as a constant function. In other words, a function f from a to b, from a to b is a constant function. All the elements of a will have the same image, will have the same image. In this case, f of a is equals to c, f of a is equals to c. Earlier in the identity function, f of a is equals to a, f of a is equals to a, then we can say it is a identity function, such an identity function. Now let us concentrate some of the problems which are related to the above three concepts. Okay, now here it is given. So a is given there, b is there and we have to verify whether f is 1, 1 or not, whether f is 1, 1 or not. So it is given as a, b, c, d and e and of course this is b is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here a is mapped to 1, b is mapped to 6, b is mapped to 6 and next another one is c is mapped to 2 and d is mapped to 3 and e is mapped to 4. e is mapped to 4. Observe here each and every element here will have different images, different images. Of course, 5 does not have any pre-image, 5 does not have any pre-image, but whatever the values will be there, whatever the elements will be there in that set and each and every element will have different images. So we can say that the function is a 1 to 1. The function is a 1 to 1. And the next, suppose if I am going to consider the next case, 1 to uh, a is this and b is this and 1 to a, 2 to a. 1 to a and 2 to a. That means uh, a pre-images are more than 1. A pre-images are more than 1. So it is not 1, 1 function. It is not a 1, 1 function. Okay. So now many to 1. Many, uh, many 1 function. Many to 1 function. Let us consider a function f from a to b is said to be many to 1. If two or more elements of a will have the same image, will have the same image, then it is known as, it is known as many to one function, many to one function. Suppose f of x is equal to x square if I am taking, so f is a mapping from real number to real number, so real number to real number. If I am taking x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1, then f of x is equal to plus 1, f of x is equal to plus 1. So A is a uh, set real number system and B is also a real number system. So here we are going to consider more two elements, two elements f of 1 and f of minus 1 will have only one image. So we can say that it is a many to 1, many to 1 and this is given here. So it is a many 1. And into function, what is meant by into function? So a function is said to be into function if there exists at least one element in B, one element in B which is not having any pre-image, which is not having any pre-image, then that function is known as into function. Suppose if I am going to define like this, so 1, 2, 3 and next A, B, C, D, let us consider, I am just taking 1 to A, 2 to B and 3 to C. So here D does not have any pre-image. D does not have any pre-image. So it is a into function. It is a into function. Whereas here phi does not have any pre-image. Phi does not have any pre-image. It is a one to one but at the same time any at least one element it does not have any pre-image then it is a into function. It is a into function. Okay. So that is the uh, into function. A function f from a to b is said to be into function if there exists at least one element, more than one also possible. So at least one element which does not have any pre-image, which does not have any pre-image. That means what about the range? Range of f is nothing but the subset of a codomain of f is nothing but subset. So what is the range just to have to consider? which is a subset. Let us say the range will be there and there are some more elements will be there. There are some more elements will be there and f is. So into function, so there are at least one element which does not have any pre-image. Now onto function, onto 
function. This is completely opposite. They at least uh, for each and every element, f, f a function, f is uh, from a to b is said to be onto function. If each and every element of b will have a pre-image under the function, under the function. Suppose uh, uh, if we are considering all the elements will have, all the elements will have a uh, pre-image of b, then we can say that this is a onto function. And here the range is equal to, the range is equal to the set b, f of a is equal to b, f of a is equals to b. So when f is an onto function a to b, then it will become f of a is equal to b. Okay. Now, Whenever any onto function is also called as subjective function, onto function is also called as a subjective function. Now, let us uh, verify one function is given. F is onto function or not, we have to verify. So here, A. So it is given as A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. And now another one is 1, 2, 3, 4. So now a to 1 will be there, b to 1 will be there, a to 1, b to 1, and c to 4, and next d to 2, d is related to 2, e is related to 3. See now observe this, each and every element, each and every element of b, half of b will have a pre-image, will have a pre-image. So the given function, the given function is onto, is a onto function. And the next one is, so example 2, verify it is on to or not. So here, A is ABC and B is 1, 2, 3, 4. So here it is given as, then it is, a, let us take ABC and another one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now it is, A is related to 1, B is related to 3 and now, C is related to 4. C is related to 4. So here, 3, 2 does not have any pre-image. Does not have any pre-image. It is not onto. That means it is a into function. It is a into function. So here, the next one is, uh, uh, the, observe this, the next example. So it is uh, A, B, C, D is there. And A is, let us take uh, A, B, C, D. And next another one is S T U. B is S T U. And A is to S. And B to T. B to T. And C to U. C to U. And D to U. D to U. So we have to verify. We have to verify whether it is 1 1 or 1 2 or both. So this is not 1 1. This is not 1 1. So because because it is uh, only it is given d to u uh, d image is uh, d and c image both images are u both images are u it is not that means uh, two different elements will have same image so this is not one one this is not a one one and at the same time each and every element will have a pre-image so it is onto it is a uh, onto now any function which is one one and onto which is known as a bisection which is known as a bisection so here it is given one uh, example so a to 1 will be there b to 3 will be there c to 2 will be there so we have to verify whether it is a bisection or not so it is uh, given as one is a b c d e and the next one is a 1 2 3 4 5 then a to 1 a is related to 1 and b is related to 3 b is related to 3 c is related to 2 d is related to 4 and e is related to 5 observe this here each and every element this is a and of course this is b each and every element will have different images so it is 1 1 and at the same time uh, the function all the elements of b will have pre image so it is a uh, 1, 1 as well as on 2. So the given function, the given function is a bijection, is a bijection. So now let us uh, uh, take down the other problems. So here 
a is related to a is related to 2 a is uh, related to 2 and b is related to 3 c is related to 1 so this is also a 1 1 and on 2 1 1 and on 2 function and here it is 1 is related to what is the g function g is defined from it is a b to c it is not a to b it is b to c b to c 1 is mapped to uh, what is a b is 1 2 3 this is b and next c is x y so what it is a 1 is 2y 1 is 2y and 2 is 2y see here and 3 to x 3 to x this is onto function it is not 1 1 it is not a 1 1 but it is a onto function it is a onto function so this is 1 1 as well as a onto function okay so now the other example so it is given a to b and d to d to b d to b and determine each of the function one or not okay it is also similar uh, uh, way that we are going to so a to d a to d so a is mapped to 2 and b is mapped to 1 and c is mapped to 4 c is mapped to 4 so it is uh, 1 1 but it is not on 2 but it is not uh, on 2 and similarly 1 d to b so 1 to x will be there 2 to y will be there and 3 to x will be there 3 to x will be there 1 is mapped to x 3 is mapped to x so it is simply not 1 1 as well as not on 2 not on 2 so now the other one is a function a invertible function a function is said to be invertible a function is from f is from a to b is said to be invertible if f inverse is also a function if f inverse is also a function okay so here we have given yeah, a b given and f is given we have to verify what is f inverse what is a f inverse f is given and f inverse is from b to a f inverse is from b to a so what is f inverse is see here it is a b to a so this is b and this is a and f inverse is what is the b elements are a b c d c d and next 1 2 3 4 and next a to 1 a to 1 and a to 2 see here a to 2 and d to 3 and next c to 4 c to 4 first of all this is f inverse is not at all a function is not at all a function because f inverse of a is equals to 1 and f inverse of a is equals to 2 so f inverse of a is not a uh, fixed value is not a fixed value so one two pre images are only one so f inverse is not a function f inverse is not a function so from b to a from b to a so f is not invertible f is not a invertible so now the another one is f of x is equals to x square f is invertible or not f is invertible or not so here also this is a f inverse what is a f is a from uh, r to r r to r f inverse is a, is not a function f inverse is not a function what is f inverse is a, here it is nothing but a, to, uh, let us take any number minus 2 to 2 it is going to be a fixed one so it is going to be mapped to this whereas f inverse if i am taking 4 is mapped to more than uh, one element so it is not a uh, invertible function it is not a invertible function and there are some uh, 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 theorems or concepts will be there so f a f is from a to b f is from a to b is a function then f inverse is a function from b to a provided there is some condition will be there f is a one to one f is a one to one we are going to discuss all these things uh, in the next uh, later classes uh, uh, because we are going to use after completion of the uh, product of two functions after that we are going to take that uh, we are going to explain the invertible functions once again there so now composition of a function so the product of two functions the product of uh, two functions let us say here f is uh, 
defined from a to b f is defined from a to b function and g is defined from b to c b to c and next uh, the product is g of f the uh, g of f is from a to c from a to c now see consider uh, three non empty sets a b c and f is a function from this g is a function from this then the composition of these two functions which is defined as g of f which is defined as g of f and it is from a to c it is from a to c and with the property that g of f a this is a function g of f is nothing but g of f of a a image is here f of a pre image is a and what about this image this image under g is this under g is this so now g of f of a is equals to g of f of a this is true for all values of a then this is known as a composition of two functions composition of two functions so suppose if i am considering f is a function from a to a and f circle f of f composition of f or f circle f we are calling it as f square and f circle f square we are taking it as f cubed and so on because f is defined from a to a then f circle f is equals to f square and f circle f square is equals to f cubed and so on it is going to be complete now let us concentrate now a b c are the sets are given and this is one function this is another function then how we are going to uh, product of these two functions how we are going to composite these two functions so it is given as like this so now so what is the g of f the comp the we are going to find out what is g of f what is a g of f g of f is this what is the f of g is a f of g is nothing but a, this is a g and next uh, uh g is from b to c and it is not f of g it is only g of f now first i am going to calculate only g of f after that i am going to find out f of g and uh, the remaining things also so now let us uh, see this g of f i have to calculate g of f is from a to c a to c what is a where a set a is nothing but 1 2 3 4 it is given as 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 it is mentioned now what is g of f of 1 g of f of 1 1 so it is nothing but g of f of 1 g of f of 1 f of 1 is what a so i am taking g of a this is a a is nothing but one image is a under f under f so we are taking now what is a a image under g a image under g is x so i am taking this as x this as x and similarly the other element the other element g of f of 2 so it is nothing but g of f of 2 g of f of 2 f of 2 is a f of 2 is a so i am going to take a so a image under g a image under g is x and next similarly g of f of 3 g of f of 3 we calculated and similarly g of f of 4 g of f of 4 so it is a g of f of 4 so what is f of 4 is f of 4 is a c so what is g of c is equals to z is equals to z so for each and every element of a under g of f is defined so g of f is equals to we are going to take it as g of f is 1 is mapped to 1 is mapped to x 2 is mapped to x 3 is mapped to y 4 is mapped to z i am going to write all the things in the ordered page so g of f is like this g of f is like this now consider the other example so f and g are defined as functions f and g are defined as functions mm -hmm. now we have to find out what is f of g and what is g of f 
What is a G of F? So here F and G both are defined on the functions from R to R. R to R. So here real number to real number. So here this is a F is from R to R. Let us say F is from R to R. And another G is from R to R. G is from R to R. Then this is we are calling it as G circle of G of F. And F of G is once again we are going to take it as this is R and it is F and we are going to consider this as F circle G. F circle G. So this is here domain and co-domain if are, uh, if all are same if all are same then we can represent in the same diagram g of f and f of g now we have to calculate what is a g of f and what is f of g what is a f of g afterwards what is f square and of course what is g square so now g of f is g of f of x so f of x is equals to then x cube then x cube so g of x cube. So g of x is equals to this. Replace x with x cube. Replace x with x cube. So I am going to get g of x. g of f of x. Next, f of g of x. f of g of x. So which is nothing but f of g of x. What is g of x? g of x is, is equals to f of x square plus 1. g of x is x square plus 1. And wherever x will be there. In that we are going to replace x square plus 1. Subsequently, we are going to get f of g is like this. And the next uh, f square x is nothing but f of f of x. f of f of x. So it is nothing but f of f of x is nothing but x cube. So f of x once again x cube. So x cubed whole to the power of 3. x cubed whole to the power of 3. So it is nothing but x cubed into x cubed into x cubed a to the power of m into n a to the power of m n. So this is the way that we are going to calculate what is f square and similarly what is g square g of g circle g. So g of g of x. So then we have to calculate and we have to substitute this. This is g of g of x. Now let us go for the other example. f and g are the functions which are defined from R to R and f of x is given like this and g of x is like this and g of f of g of f of x is given and we have to calculate what are the values of a comma b. What are the values of a comma b that we have to calculate. So here it is given g of f is given. Now it is given g of f. So now we have to calculate what is g of f. So it is a g of f of x. So it is a g of f of x. g of f of x. So g of f of x is what is f of x is equals to ax plus b. ax plus b. And now g of ax plus b. g of ax plus b is 1 minus ax plus b and plus ax plus b whole square whole square and which is given already it is a 9x square minus 9x plus 3 is given plus 3 is given then if you are going to expand this if you are going to expand this then we have to compare x square terms x terms and constant terms then we are going to get the equations and if you are going to solve those equations subsequently we can get the a b values we can get the a b values so we have to expand this we have to expand this and we have to separate it constant terms and the next x terms and the next x square terms so when we are going to comparing x square terms so whatever the quotient will be there that is equals to x and whatever the quotient will be there that is equals to minus x minus x then you are going to solve those two equations then subsequently we came to know what are a and b values what are a and b values now there is uh, there are some more uh, theorems will be there 
Okay, uh, we are going to discuss those theorems in the next class. Okay, uh, so what uh, now in this class, what we studied, we studied what is a function and uh, what are the uh, examples of uh, different functions will be and how we are going to verify whether it is a function or not and uh, how many types of functions will be there how many types of functions will be there and uh, in that uh, all the different types of functions and we are going to explain by using some of the examples and uh, next uh, what is a composite uh, composition of functions what is the product of functions and uh, there are uh, some more uh, theorems will be there in the next class we are going to discuss uh, what are the uh, theorems uh, which are related uh, to the uh, composition of functions composition of uh, functions uh, that's all today's class thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates